Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Maddie and in today's video I'm going to be going over all of the pet things that we got for Christmas and some stuff that I bought myself that is going to be used as we renovate the pet room, which is really exciting. If you've been keeping up with my Instagram story and stuff, you would already notice a big difference with the room. And yes, the Christmas decorations are still up. We've been really busy and I haven't been able to take them down yet, uh, which was pretty good because I still had to film this video anyway. This is probably gonna be going up in January. Actually, I think the first day of January. Hello, happy 2020. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas or a Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. I hope that it was an enjoyable time. And let's kick off the first video of 2020 with a haul. So the first thing we got is this Whisper Pro filter, Tetra. It's really, it's a really nice filter. It's for five to 10 gallons. I'm gonna be putting it in the upgraded female beta sorority that's coming up soon. Most of the aquatics that you see are actually going to be for that. Um, I actually have other aquatic plans. Um, I'm really excited to be getting back into the aquarium hobby. I'm really enjoying it. Um, but for right now, the only things that I really have right now are my male bettas and my female bettas. The males are all set right now. So to carry on with upgrading the pet room and making it what I want it to be, I'm going to be upgrading a lot of the animal tanks and enclosures and stuff making them the best that they can be. So the first step is probably my aquatics, get that over with, and so that I don't have to be moving around fish tanks all the time, which is very annoying. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Um, so yeah, the girls get to get their 10 gallon, hopefully very soon, and here we go. And to go along with the Whisper 10 filter, I got the bio bags for it. These are the basically filter cartridges, but they fold over this bit and they have charcoal and it really helps keep the tank clean. And my girls are messy. So um, I'm happy about getting them better quality filters and stuff. And so next we have, uh, you, you can't really tell what it is, but if you know what it is, um, it's a aquarium thermometer with a probe. Here it is. Probe. I don't know if you can see that. But this piece right here, that's a probe that goes in the water to read more accurate aquarium temperatures so that I can monitor it without the little plastic $2 ones that you can get at the pet store. This is a lot nicer. So next we have this heater. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. Uh, this is just a 50 watt submersible aquarium he heater. And for those of you who do not know, you should have, for if you use heaters, one good rule to go by is for every one gallon tank you have, your heater should be at least five watts. So that's why I got this. This is 50 watts and it does say that it goes up to 13 gallons, um, but I'm gonna be using it in the girl's 10 gallon. So I am pretty excited about that. Next up we have sand because the girls are going on sand. Uh, this is just the Aquaterra, though I wouldn't use this for reptiles. I'm not a huge sand person for certain reptiles. But um, this is actually from... It's sterilized, but I'm going to sterilize it again anyway, just for safety measures. But um, it says this is from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. That's actually somewhere where we go vacationing a lot, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So when I saw that, I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. All right, so next we just have some decoration stuff, I guess. So here is what is called a ceramic betta log. Sleeping den or hideout for your pet betta friend. Betta beta. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> People are like, oh my god, you're saying it wrong. Yeah, so that's what this is. It's pretty much just a little decoration thing. Um, it's marketed for bettas but I really liked it. It's cute, it has little holes in it. Fish cannot get stuck or anything. There's no way for it to get stuck. So it's pretty safe. It's literally just a, a ceramic, a ceramic log. And then next we have this little den thing that's gonna be going in there. Uh, this is, oh, it doesn't even have a name. It's by Marina. It's literally just Marina Decor. I don't know what to call this, but uh, it's a little cave 
that's gonna look really nice in the girls tank so the next thing i'm gonna show is not something i got for christmas um i've actually had this for a while but i don't think i've ever shown it because or i might have shown it a few times unintentionally but um i'm really excited to be putting this in the pet room and um you know it's gonna make it a little bit more personable on here and homey so um that's why i wanted to show it it hasn't been properly introduced if you saw it good for you but i haven't really talked about it but i was at walmart and i found this really cute little picture frame and it's multiple frames these are all different ones and i'm gonna hang it up in here and put my animals and stuff in them so yeah uh, each one of these is four by six, so I think it's really pretty. I like it. All right, so next up we actually have a thermostat and a humidity controller. That's what this is. This I got on Amazon. Actually, I got it for Christmas, but it's on Amazon. Um, it's by Inkbird, I think. Yeah, it's Inkbird. I don't know if you can see that. But um, what it is is it has two probes that go into tanks. And there's two plugins for them. One uh, probe is for temperature, one probe is for humidity. So it's gonna pick the exact everything from the tank and it's gonna make my sprayer go on and it'll make the heat lamp go on as well. So that's really, really, really cool. I'm really glad that I got that. Next up, we have two, um, thermometer and hygrometers. I shall show you these. And again, they have the two probes, one here, and the other little metal one is in there. But yeah, two probes, and it is going to tell you the exact in the tanks. And I got two, I got one for my Crested Gecko and I got one for my Toad so that when he gets their upgrades, I can closely monitor everything, especially with the uh, bioactive theme that I'm gonna have going on in the pack. So that's important. Next up, I have a bag of dirt. No. This I got from Josh's Frogs. This is called, uh, this is their bio bedding. Um, it's a tropical bioactive substrate. This, got the big bag of it. And I'm gonna be using this in my Crested Gecko's tank. He is going bioactive soon, which is exciting. So, so I got this. I have a big bag of charcoal. Um, for, this is for when you have, uh, like isopods or springtails, um, but when I when I get them, I'm just gonna bring like get it in the jar with the charcoal. But I wanted to have some extra charcoal on hand, just to you know provide air circulation and drainage and stuff extra. So um, the more the merrier in a bioactive terrarium. Up we have some leaf litter. This just gives the isopods and stuff something to eat, other than the waste that's in the tank. But it's good. Uh, nesting material anyway. This is a bag of hydro balls. You can't see it because it's in this bag so that it doesn't rip. But um, this is really heavy. It's just a big bag of little clay balls that um, allow drainage in, again, a bioactive terrarium. So that's what this is. <laughs> okay, so next up we have some more things for the pet room. Um, they're not specifically like for pets or anything, but there's just some things that I asked for that I wanted to get for in here, um, to just help me keep up with maintaining everything and stuff. So, uh, we got whiteboard cleaner, eraser, markers, more whiteboard markers, and whiteboard. So... This is the whiteboard. This is so that I can write down feedings and stuff for the animals. So we got this. And I was also given a really cute bird themed 2020 calendar. They have all these birds on them. The glare is really bad, I'm sorry. You can kind of see them. 
And some of these next things are gonna seem pretty, really, really random. Um, but I'm gonna explain as we go. So the first thing that we have here, this is an eco carpet. And um, no, this is not gonna be used for uh, a pet or anything. Um, actually in 2020, I am going to be starting to culture and colonize and breed my own feeder insects. So um, I got this for the bottom of the cricket bin that I'm gonna be buying soon. And also to go along with that, I got these little sandwich bins or sandwich containers, whatever you call them. Uh, this is what you fill with the vermiculite and keep it humid. That's where the crickets lay their eggs. So I got three of these for some reason. <laughs> I don't know, the more the merrier, I guess. So three little sandwich bins. Then we got this Fluker's light dome fixture thing. It's pretty straightforward. It's just, it's just the dome. Uh, for those of you who don't know, when you breed crickets to, pr to promote and stimulate the breeding behavior, they have to be at a certain temperature. I forget what temperature is, but it's a high one. <laughs> so I got this. Also, we have the lamp that is going to be used in it. I can't really see it. It's like a really banged up package, but we have Cricut water pillows. I find them good because if you put like actual water in there, like even one drop of water, they're literally gonna all drown. It's really annoying. It happens to me all the time. So I decided that I wanted to get water pillows so that um, it's just easier for them to get their water without like drowning, I guess, <laughs> I don't know. Last but not least, we have a bag of vermiculite. Yay! So this is what I was talking about. The sandwich containers, you put the vermiculite in the sandwich containers, you keep them in the bin of crickets and they lay their eggs in there if it's humid and voila, you have baby crickets. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I hope everyone had an amazing 2019, an amazing holiday season, and an amazing start to 2020 as well, because this is going up January 1st. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you wanna comment something, comment something. I don't know what there really is to comment, but just comment something if you want. And hit that subscribe button and share some love. Tap the bell so you never, ever miss an upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video.